I'm Stacy Bogum, and I'm a melanoma survivor. In 2011, the morning after my 35th birthday and the day before my fifth wedding anniversary, um, I got a phone call from my dermatologist to let me know that a little mold that he took off a week before that I really wasn't worried about was melanoma. And my grandfather died of melanoma, so I knew when the dermatologist said that word that it was serious. Hello, my name is Dr. Mariana Blumen Karasik. I'm with Top Line MD and I'm a board certified dermatologist. I would like to warn you against the dangers of indoor tanning. Over the last 30 years, the rate of melanoma and the most dangerous type of skin cancer has doubled. And um, the tr most attributed factor to that is tanning, indoor as well as outdoor. Growing up, my parents are pretty responsible. They always made sure we wore sunscreen. Um, but I also grew up in New Orleans, Louisiana, so you're outside and it's a sunny environment. Um, so I'm sure there were times when I didn't reapply. I definitely got burnt a few times, but, um, but what we know about tanning beds is that even using them once or twice can really increase your risk of, of cancer. I mean, the, it's direct UV light on your skin. It's really stupid. Um, so I don't know. I mean, we can't pinpoint exactly was it that or not, but it certainly didn't help. <laughs> Tanning beds are very dangerous for our health. They can cause a dangerous skin cancer called melanoma, which is potentially deadly. Tanning beds are very popular in college student population, especially in young women who are light skin. And because of all this medical evidence, over 40 states have um, implemented laws prohibiting the use of these devices in minors, so uh, young people who are younger than 18 years of age. Food and Drug Administration, so FDA, has recently, in 2014, have placed a black box warning on indoor tanning devices, so tanning beds. Um, the reason they did that is because of significant amount of medical evidence showing uh, risk of using these indoor devices uh, causing skin cancer. Unfortunately, 20 years ago, when I did use a tanning booth when I was a teenager, we didn't have this scientific uh, data to show how dangerous they are for our health. So therefore, I did use them thinking they were perfectly safe to use for the absolute reason that many teens use them nowadays too. Tanning bath is much more dangerous for your skin than uh, being laying out on the beach. The concentration of ultraviolet radiation emitted by the tanning beds is a lot more higher and therefore more carcinogenic, therefore causing skin cancer than the regular sunlight. You get the potential of skin cancer, you get photo damage, early aging of the skin, and um, potential eye damage. Stop using a tanning device if you use it now, and therefore hopefully you'll prevent a health issue in the future. My hope the message that I want to send is that the most healthiest and beautiful skin that you have is your natural tone that you're born with.